So is it just me, or does anybody else find vibration really soothing? He- hear me out, okay? I'm sure there have been plenty of scenarios in which you're sitting on a bus or car, and you feel kind of drowsy, so you put your head against a pretty little window, and somehow you found yourself falling asleep. Like, to me at least, right, it feels like a rhythmic sort of massage is happening on top of my scalp, and it kind of lulls me to sleep. It's- it's like ASMR, without the weird popcorn crinkling or the- the rice bubbling popping, or- or Hodor ASMR, what the- what the hell? See, I don't think that's too odd, and I'm sure it's happened to most of you, but here's where I get weirder. I fall asleep at the hairdresser. Whenever I go, I sit down in one of their chairs, and I guess like the constant feeling and sounds of the razors and scissors just makes me want to take a little nap, right? It's honestly gone up to the point where the hairdresser keeps a water bottle and just sprays it on me whenever I fall asleep. Like, wake up, loser. I'm trying to cut your hair. No, those are stupid. That was stupid. Don't use that one. I'm gonna murder your family. The worst thing is, I don't actually know how to get my usual haircut. I just kind of walk in there to the same hairdressers, and when they eventually ask me how I get my hair done, I just say the number three. Like, just three. Just three hair strands? What, are you crazy? No, shut, shut up, Rush. Shut up. I think I googled this before, and I guess the numbers correspond with, like, the size of the razor? Psh, I don't care. As long as it gets my hair cut, it's cool. But it's problematic when I go to another hairdresser, because they have absolutely no idea what the number three means to them, and neither do I. So they just start cutting, and then eventually I fall asleep. I guess they're just too awkward to wake me up and ask for my opinion, so they just go all crazy on my hair. And then when I wake up, I take a look in the mirror, and I'm like, I- I look like a thumb. I look straight up like a thumb. They- they cut way too much hair, and it's uneven, and I just straight up look like a thumb, right? Like, I'm sure if you were to hold two thumbs on either side of my head, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Which- which one's me? Which one- which one's Muzz? I- I don't know. And the thing is, I can't even blame them. It's my fault for falling asleep. And I don't know why I do it. It's so weird. I'm curious to know how many of you actually fall asleep at the hairdressers too, because like, oh man, it gets way worse. I fall asleep at the dentist. Well, Mods, what do you mean you fell asleep at the dentist? They drill into your teeth and inject you and torture your gums and what the f- Shut up, my fellow teen. Because I am fully aware as to how bizarre this is. Like, I have no idea why the drilling and my head vibrating along with the equipment makes me sleep, but it does. Because, I mean, what else am I meant to do? They just gotta lay you there with nothing to do, and the room is dim and I get bored, so I just fall asleep, you know? Good night. It happens often enough now that whenever they do a dental checkup on me, they put these clamps on the other side of my mouth. This way, even if I sleep, my lips are kind of pulled apart and I don't close my mouth on their fingers. It does feel odd though, like they're gonna stick an apple in me and then roast me or something, but hey, look, as long as it lets me sleep, I don't care what they do. I should actually try to learn how to use this phenomenon to my advantage, because just like other content creators, I barely sleep. It's, it's pretty bad, like to the point where I've got permanent eye bags in real life. Yes, I've got eyes in real life. Shut up. Actually, now that I think about it, me staying up is probably the reason why I sleep so easily at all those weird places. I even use that fancy bedtime function on my iPhone, but I just end up turning it off whenever I need to stay up, and then I get tired the next day, and then I end up looking like a thumb. Brilliant. <laughs> so I guess the moral of the story is, stay up when you're getting your hair cut so that you don't look like a thumb. <laughs> Alright, please don't click out yet. I want to update you guys on a few things, so hear me out. Alright, so in this video, I used the fancy cards function, so a poll should have popped up whenever I talk about where I've slept. I want to see whether I'm normal or weird, so I'd love it if you answered. Also, major thanks to Rushlight Invader for lending his voice. Go check him out, he is hilarious. I don't know you, Rushlight Invade. Finally, since I stream every two weeks, I've decided to add a date in the video directly for when I'm streaming next. Follow my Twitter for any updates about that. Alright, so that's about it. Laters!